Hey dolls, so today we're going to be doing a DIY video. I've made one of these before. I've actually made a feather lamp, the one that like hangs from the ceiling. Um, but today's one's gonna be a stand-in one and because the other one got so many views, kind of went viral, everyone loved it and asked me so many questions on how to make it. I did promise I was gonna make a stand-in one. I'm not sure if I promised in that video or I promised, I don't know where I promised, but I did promise I'll do like a stand-in one. So today I'm gonna to do a stand-in one. I actually asked people on Instagram and on YouTube to vote for the color that I'm gonna do. So the one that was voted for, it was really tricky. So on on um, on YouTube, which is here, I asked you dolls in my community center, which one should I do, pink feathers or white feathers? And everyone voted on, on YouTube for pink feathers. And on Instagram, everyone voted for white feathers. So we're like half and half. So I might do a part two to this, I don't know. We shall see, but it looks like we're gonna be doing white feathers. I don't even know yet, because I've not made this yet. I'm doing the intro before I even make it, which is rare. Normally I do the intro after I've done a DIY, but today I'm actually doing the intro before I even start making it. Um, weird, but yeah, so I don't even know what colour we're doing. Obviously you're going to know because you're going to see the thumbnail, but I don't know yet. <laughs> it's weird. I'm talking from the past in the future. This is so weird. But anyway, <laughs> grab your coffee, grab your tea. Today I have water. Grab your water and let's do this. Glam DIY video. We're going to be making a cute feather lamp, which will stand in lamp which will normally cost lots of money in the shops thousands of dollars not exaggerating but it's expensive and i like glam for less and how to make it cheaper and have you know cheaper stuff <laughs> And I must say, most of the items are from Dollar Tree. Like, I'm literally taking a mop and turning it into a lamp shade, like a lamp, a standing lamp. So this is going to be really fun to do. I just like taking things that are very, very, like, cheap and making it look very expensive. Like, literally transforming stuff from what it was, like, literally nothing to something amazing. So I love it. Can't wait to start. Let's go. So that's... I don't know how to make this lamp functional. I will try my hardest to make it a functional, when I mean functional, and at a lamp that actually works. This lamp is literally, for me, just for aesthetics. If you know how to hook the lighting system up, knock yourself out, but I want to um, make something for aesthetics because lamps can be for aesthetics as well, like just standing in the room, and I like things for aesthetics. Um, and that's all I want to do. I do see people on YouTube who know how to make a lamp and connect the lighting thing. Um, I will try in this video. I'm not going to promise that it's going to be like that. We shall see. Fingers crossed. Of course, I've not made it yet. So, yes, let's go. Thank you so much for watching. Also, if you're new to my channel, subscribe um, to my channel. Also, before you watch this video, before you watch this video, give this video a big fat thumbs up. And also, let me know in the comment section which one you would have made. Would you do the pink or would you do the white obviously pink is my favorite color but i feel like white can match so many different rooms i think that's why people are voting for white so anyway longest intro ever let's go because this video is taking so long to start i'll show you the items i used at dollar tree to make this lamp so let's go inside dollar tree and see what they have let's go dollar tree is so cluttered all i'm trying to do is get those over there there's so many boxes i actually feel really claustrophobic inside here all I want to do is show you that and that's what I want to get which is these. I need one of these which is just a regular mop and you're going to be taking off the head which is this part here and 
that's all you're gonna need. In fact, they already have it like this, but then this is black, so obviously you can't spray paint it gold. So I'll get the white one and just take off the head. They come off really easily. So that's what you're gonna need, one of these, or even one of those over there, but just one of these mop sticks. Garden in set, well, I'm in the light gardening section and the floral section. Um, you're gonna need a bowl, and this is the bowl right down here. You're gonna need one of these, and this is what I used for the base. This is what I'm gonna use for the base of the lamp, and we're gonna be spray painting this gold. So you need one of these, and you're gonna drill a hole into the middle of it, so. This, you can find it, as I said, in the floral section and garden section. So, one of these. Just when I was gonna make this, I wanted to buy one of these to like have the chandelier pieces, like have the jewels hanging underneath it. But well, it's kind of complicated, so I decided to leave it, but this is a good idea for a chandelier, just letting you know. So now we've got all we want from here, it's time to leave and let's go make this lamp let's go i'm outside i normally like to show you things before i do it but this has been a nightmare to make so i want to show you quickly that i got this from dollar tree so the mop that you see is from dollar tree the stick i got this also from the garden section in dollar tree and to hook it this little pan thing here is like a pie pan from dollar tree and i just screwed them on as you can see i screwed it on like this and then I screwed this one on from the bottom using screws that I got from Lowe's. And now I'm going to spray paint this um, because it was so hard to put together that I just have to do it this way. I just have to test it out first and make it first. So now I'm going to be using spray paint here, which is a gold spray paint to spray paint all of this part down here. Okay, you can see my toes. Um, this has been a nightmare to make, but I'm making it. I'm using this from Rust Oleum. It's a gold spray paint, so screenshot this. And I'm just gonna spray all of this all the way up to the top as much as I can. it's dried as you can see this is all dried and it came out really pretty like as it is right now it looks so gorgeous like you don't even have to add anything to it you've got your lamp but of course we're trying to do a glamorous lamp so that's why and by the way if you're w wondering what all this stuff is in the background this is my diy area so it is a bit messy over here but anyway let's focus on this um so yeah <laughs> Um, we're going to now put feathers on this lampshade and also add some gorgeous rhinestones underneath like hanging but look how it came out it's like gorgeous and gold and you would never know it doesn't look like this is a mop stick and this doesn't look like this is a random plate that I just spray painted gold I mean it just looks perfect okay so now i'm going to add some feathers on this and also the rhinestones so these are the feathers that i'm going to be using i got these feathers off of um what's it called amazon and it's called happy feathers and i just got two of them i put the link down below and they're very full you want it as full as possible so i got really full feathers i'm going to be using two on this and how it looks like when it's out of the bag it's just nice and fluffy and pretty and we're just going to be using hot glue to just add it to the mannequin i can already visualize this it's going to be gorgeous and so i got these random christmas decorations i found them in my room i just found like random christmas decorations that i had not used and i got these from at home for 3.99 hobby lobby have these as well um and I just thought I'm going to use them for to just save money instead of buying new ones. I'm going to just put them underneath there. Like, who would know? I mean, these will cost a lot on Amazon to buy these to use. So I thought I will still have a link for them on Amazon, but I'm going to be using these for sure. I mean, for free 99, you cannot beat that. So I'm going to show you how to attach this. It already looks so gorgeous. I'm already getting an imagination of how this is going to look like. So I'm going to show you how to attach it. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to first, 
I'm going to have to unhook this and then work on this separately. Um, I think we're going to attach this first and then we're going to put the fur on. I don't know which order. So I know people like looking at my table because it changes all the time. I've got my pencils, I've got my flowers, I've got my <laughs> candle here that one of my friends got me for my birthday. I just thought it's so chic. I'm going to add it in here. Um, and I have my Chanel, um, well, you know, I got this from at home and I'm just, I just added Chanel ribbons on it. And this is my table that I'm going to be working on because I always get in a random mannequin here with napkins, <laughs> like tissue. Um, it's just, everyone always likes to know what I'm working on when I ever do these projects. They want to see the background. So here you go. That's so why I'm doing my DIY. <laughs> so anyway the attach these to our lamp we're going to be using this i got this from target it's a 19 gauge picture frame wire and we're going to be using this like to attach to the end of the hooks to hook onto the chandelier to hook onto the lamp which will make the whole lamp look like a chandelier and if my voice sounds weird i'm actually very very unwell right now so i'm just letting you know i sound really weird but let's keep going oh so i just wanted to show off my new toolbox as you can see it's pink it comes with this pink tool i don't even know what that screwdriver <laughs> and look inside it just has all pink like accessories a pink measuring tape pliers got my hair in it um a pink hammer like i've had this for a while and i can't wait to finally use it um on this project and i got it from amazon i'll have like the link down below everything pink over here it's just perfect so i'm just gonna be um unscrewing the lampshade and okay so i'm going to take this and i'm gonna grab one of these christmas ornaments and I like how it already has this on it and I'm just going to hook it and you want it to be as long as possible because I want all of this to be seen and I'm going to be like cutting it off and you're just going to have it open like this to twist at the top you're going to see when I do it so <laughs> it's going to make more sense but basically I'm just going to do this break this piece off and then just leave it like this we're going to be basically hanging this you're going to see very soon so i'm going to make more of those as so you can see that that's over there i'm going to make more of these loops with my christmas ornaments ones here before I show you I have these ones that I used on a different lamp that I made on my channel some years ago I think 2019 two years ago um, and these ones are glass so they cost way more I'll have the link to Amazon um, this one's plastic but this one here is glass and it's heavier um, I do like the ones that I'm using now because they're more lightweight this is very heavy and it's going to weigh your lampshade down unless you want glass go for this one but I'm going to link it down below what I'm going to do now I have them what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook my like my um, pieces that I just made inside here so I'm going to just I've already put one in there and I'm just going to like take them and I'm going to loop them I hope my hands are not in the way um, but I'm going to just like loop them like this a couple of times to make sure it's secure like this and once you do this I'm telling you it's hard to come off because I've done this DIY two years ago and when you look down below it's going to be dropping down I'm going to do that on you can see how this lampshade has three areas I'm actually going to just focus on the front so this side I'm going to loop as many on this side and many here you can do the back if you want to but I'm just going to focus on the part that is going to be at the front so I'm going to put my third one now down here and if you're wondering where I got the lampshade from because I don't think I said it at the beginning I got the lampshade from Target 
and you can get any size you want. I do regret getting the one that is this big, but I guess the bigger the more glamorous. <laughs> I, I, I like to go all the way out for things, but I wish I got mine a little bit smaller because it is a lot of like feathers. The bigger you get, the more feathers you're going to have to get for your lampshade. So yeah, that's where we're at now. So I'm just going to tie this and just have it like this and we're going to do it on each side. Um going to do more on this side as well. So as you can see, I'm done with adding these pieces on. I did add the pieces that I got, the glass ones I was telling you about. Um, you can add more as much as you want, but I'm going to stop with the amount that I have. I think it looks really gorgeous with the amount that I have. I'm going to just leave it, um, but you can go and add more pieces if you want. I might add more, I don't know, but I feel for now, like we have enough. We have enough for now. Like you can always add more. Now I'm going to add some feathers. Um, and all I'm going to be doing is hot gluing the feathers around the hair. Um, but it's starting to look really gorgeous and really real. Like look at the bottom. And then look at this. Like you can just leave it like this. It's amazing. Oh, it looks gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous. I wanted to add more jewels on here but I'm going to leave it because I don't want it to become too heavy but it's starting to look like a lamp like a really gorgeous glam lamp made from a broomstick a mop stick it's so gorgeous now I'm going to add some furs on it oh and I added the glass ones that's what's kind of adding to the weight it's so beautiful I added those glass ones so yeah, now I'm going to add the feathers. starting to come along really really gorgeous that's how it looks like at the bottom I don't know why I just keep showing that angle but it's so gorgeous I'm almost thinking of just leaving it like this like I kind of just like it like this I don't know or do I complete it Ugh. I can't tell it's just so gorgeous I think I'm going to complete it because it looks incomplete right now oh my goodness it's so gorgeous okay let me continue got into the top of it i'm gonna glue the last bit of feather on top I need to change my glue <laughs> i need more glue this is not gonna work i've done the, all the feathers are glued on now all you're gonna do is just like shake out your lamp so like as you can see some are like falling down just like <laughs> this is how the lamp came out it's so gorgeous i turned off the lights and i also stole that background this is my if you know if you're on my channel and you've not seen it this is my coffee bar <laughs> backdrop i took it my floral floral coffee bar the floral floral coffee coffee bar why am i stammering here the full <laughs> do this again the floral coffee bag i'm so unwell right now the floral coffee bar background i think i said it <laughs> anyway i stole that 
<laughs> because I've done this in the DIY before. If you've not watched my channel, go and watch it. I stole that because I wanted to have a really good background to show you this. And I put my whole set up with my my beauty my vanity chair with the Chanel like packaging and all that. And I just wanted to create this like nice little setup. I threw my pink heels in there and then put the and turned off the lights to give this nice feeling. And it just came out so gorgeous. I love it. It looks so expensive and just so glamorous and I just love the gold detail it looks just you would think that's metal you'd think this whole thing is just like metal it looks gorgeous and with the light off I love it just get a metallic little like a metallic all it did like all I did is I literally just stuck it's metal so it's like touching the pole so that's all I did I just put it underneath so I figured out how to attach a lamp and my mannequin is just standing right there I figured how to attach the lamp um, like the actual light without doing anything electrical so it's a functional lamp now um, and it doesn't take much electricity I love it <laughs> all you do is just charge a battery so it's very eco-friendly <laughs> um, but yeah love it oh my god oh my god I just created oh my god possibly my newest favorite DIY this was a pain in the butt to make but it came out so perfect I love it so much oh my god oh my god i am obsessed i could have put more jewels on there but i think it's stunning like look at that dolls you can't even see where the little light thing is i put it right on top it's hanging on the pole but now i'm going to turn the lights back on but i just love the ambience i just oh my god sorry for all the mess in the corner <laughs> just don't look there <laughs> it's just so beautiful oh my god I decided to continue this video with the lights off well end the video if you have enjoyed this video dolls give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below I know this video is all over the place and kind of messy um, because I've not been feeling well for the past few days so it was up and down filming this video and making all this stuff um, I'm going to quickly do a run through really quickly and told, tell you everywhere I got everything from and I'll have the links down below the pole from Dollar Tree, that plastic piece from Dollar Tree, the shade itself from Target, you can make your own shade if you want to, um, the jewels, Christmas ornaments, you can buy the Christmas, you can buy the regular crystal ornaments off of um, Amazon, I'll have the link for that as well. Um, and the little thing to hang them, the picture frame wire, I got that from Target. So altogether, this is under $30 to make this gorgeous lamp that you see here under $30 whereas this will cost you way more in the shops but anyway thank you so much for watching doll. as usual if you enjoyed this video give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below let me know if you're going to be making this gorgeous expensive looking lamp that is literally $30 to make no one's gonna know shh don't tell her, tell them and yeah thank you so much for watching dolls i'll see you in my next video we did it bye dolls love you Baby, baby